Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to create the perfect eyeliner from scratch. So as you can see there is absolutely no eyeliner in this photo. This photo generally is like not retouched at all. Um, yeah, and we're just gonna get right into it. So what you need for this is a Photoshop action called frequency separation I will have that linked below for you guys. This isn't my action. This is from Jessica Kobesi actually I'll see if I can find the original site if I can't find it I'm just gonna have this one as a download plus a link to her website So all you're gonna do is select this action and click on play um, and if you don't have the actions right here, you're gonna go to window up here and then right here and if this is like checked then it's gonna be somewhere on the screen if not you can just click it and it will appear all right so make sure you select the skin layer and then we're creating a new empty layer above the skin layer and we're gonna select a black color with a soft round brush both opacity and flow on a hundred percent then let's zoom in and you're basically just gonna do like normal makeup so I'm just gonna start pretty small right actually let me go down on opacity a little bit I'm just gonna make the eyeliner like this and the shape of it totally depends on what you prefer you can also make different colors of this which would also be super fun I'm also just gonna make her bottom waterline fill in a little bit and you can always go back and erase whatever you don't like because obviously this isn't a perfect eyeliner right now um yeah just up the opacity again and then I'm gonna draw out that wing And the reason why we're using frequency separation is because, as you can see, there's still kind of texture because we're painting underneath the texture. So it's not like just a black line or anything like that. So it still looks fairly natural. And you can go as big, as small, as winged, whatever as you want. Just make sure that it looks semi-natural. I'm almost happy with the shape of this one. So now I'm gonna go to the eraser tool put the opacity to 100% and then erase anything that I don't like like right here I painted inside the eye that doesn't look too good and then for the actual wing or tip of the liner and now that I'm looking at it I actually don't like the waterline thing that I thought looked good in the beginning and then just go over those little bumps and this is just like doing makeup in real life but you can actually make it super super perfect and super exact because you can zoom in so close and like actually go back and forth and erase stuff um yeah so I think that looks pretty good let's see the before and after yeah so we have our eyeliner so what you're gonna do is you're gonna reduce everything to one layer and then make a copy layer of that and then go to filter and liquify and with that we're gonna actually perfect the shape you're gonna get a new window like this one use the first tool right here with a pressure of around 30 to 50 and let's zoom in a little more all right so i think that i want this one to be a little bit thicker right here and then another thing that i like to do is just drag out the and a little bit so it's sharper or like thinner at the end and I think that looks pretty good you obviously have to keep an eye out on this um, line thing right here that's like natural um, because you don't want this to have a weird shape or anything so just try to stay as close to the eyeliner as possible with this tool and not like go like this all right so I think this looks really good and let's zoom out again I think that looks perfect actually and yeah that's all there is to creating an eyeliner just in Photoshop as I said you can do this in any color that you want you can also add a little bit of eyeshadow like this um, yeah just if you're adding eyeshadow obviously don't make it this dark just go a little bit lighter and 
yeah this is how you do makeup in photoshop i hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure that you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel to not miss any of my future uploads bye